Uh, okay. So, uh, so, okay, you got this, right? And you got all that shit up there, all right? Uh, this, this Arduino is running this code, and this Arduino is running that code, right? And they both have this stupid fucking header. Oh, God, what did I just do? Sorry, what? Fuck it, dog. Life's a risk. Um, whatever. Uh, the, the point being that, uh, okay, and then, right, and then so this Arduino is this console, and this Arduino is that console, right? Um, so this is the receiver, this is the transmitter, um, but hypothetically they could, they could both receive and transmit anytime. Okay, uh, got, got the, got pins two and three here. Um, two is clock, three is data on both sides. Um, 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 and, and, uh, and this first LED here is clock and the second one is data. Uh, so if I just reset the transmitter in three seconds, it'll do that. And it begins sending things. Um, uh, this right here is the collision avoidance. Uh, let me have start header, it's in the payload. Um, start header is just uh, a 255 followed by an ASCII start of text, which is 003. Um, then, then it sends payload, then it sends an ASCII end of text, and then it sends a CRC, and then it sends an ASCII end of text, or uh, end of transmission. All right, so that's what it looks like over there. That's what it looks like over there. Um, ignore those first two things. You just got the entered frame, entered CRC, etc., etc. And so it did transmit our intended message. If you look over here, intended message, final message, okay. But, but here's the dope thing, right? So, you got the collision avoidance, right? So if something else is pulsing the clock and it doesn't, the clock doesn't have to be just straight on, it actually checks uh, multiple times per clock cycle. Um, and it, it checks, actually it's configurable, but it's set by default to four, four times in a single clock cycle to check if that's on. So if we try this now, if we if we restart that and then wait three seconds, then it'll fucking soon have found a board. Okay, cool. But also, if we uh, restart it, get it going, it's sending the payload, but then we connect the clock here. Collision detected, right? So, so there you go, and now you got your fucking thing. Got it going. Okay, well, okay, that, 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 so that helps you say if both of these try to transmit at the same time, right? Then uh, at some point, even even if they somehow manage to both start at the exact same time to the point that they don't detect, um, they don't detect that, you know, the other one's clock is running. Like, number one, at some point, they're going to get out of sync. They're going to collide. Um, but number two, you know, what if, what if the data goes wrong, right? So, I actually, my data pin here, I can just tie that. Let's not tie that to that. Let's, let's we could tie the data to there, or we could just you know, tie the data to ground, right? Either way, actually, I think tying it to ground wouldn't work in this case. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to try it. The CRC library might be pre-configured. Alright, so there it's sending that. But of course, nothing is actually getting through. Well, well, no. See, in, in this case, of course, you uh, it doesn't do anything because it hasn't gotten the start the start header, right? So yeah, for sure that that doesn't that doesn't fucking work. Cool. Um, now if I have my data line here, and as it's transmitting, I just, you know, ground it a couple times. 
Maybe bring it high a couple times. Maybe I have to reset this. Oh yeah, you know what? Because it's only it's only set to receive it once. I could fix that. Um, okay, so if we do that, get our data pin here. So we start header and we'll just you know tie it high, tie it low, you know, etc. It sends a CRC there, successfully sent, and there you go. It says bad data. So th so this so at the moment it doesn't have any way to. Uh, you know, send it, you know, uh, send a Mac back, but, uh, I mean, I mean, it could, it could just transmit the other way. Uh, the, the, the library is the same on both ends. So, you know, I mean, hypothetically, you know, on a higher level of the, on a higher layer of the stack or whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, if it doesn't get there, if it doesn't get acknowledged at a higher level of the stack, it'll eventually get retransmitted. Um, just fucking dope. I haven't actually tested it with two Arduinos, so that's, I think, next on my list. Okay, there we go. So now I got it running on both of them. Uh, right, so we don't have a console because neither of the transmitters are plugged in. We do have the receiver console, right? So if I start this bad boy, we'll see it goes, enter frame, etc. Alright, if I now try to start this bad boy, oh, well, too late now, it actually finished the first transmission. That's fine. We can see we got Hello World, and on the and then on the second, the, the left Arduino, we have Goodbye Non-World, right? So now if I start Hello World off transmitting, right, so now it's transmitting, but then we, but then we try to transmit on Goodbye Non-World. Actually see... It works perfectly fine. Goodbye non-world never even started transmitting because it detected and avoided that collision. You can do it the same thing in reverse. And when that finishes, you know, you can see Goodbye non-world, CRC, totally, totally good to go. Um, the other interesting case is when we push both of them at roughly the same time. And... That one always seems to win. Even if I try to... I don't know, do it like that? Maybe that was enough. Yep. But if, if I try to just kind of roll my fingers over it, so that for, so the right one gets hit just before the left one. The left one, as far as I've seen, seems to win. Nope, there we go. And of course, we can always force a collision like that. Well, okay, that collision happened during the CRC. So it just never got the end transmitted, but rest assured, it did stop. Uh, it, this one would have shown collision detected. Um, right, yeah, because this one, this one doesn't know about the collisions. The collision detection and collision avoidance is done on the transmitters, but the CRC checking, checksum checking uh, is done on the receiver, and there's no like in-band communication built in. Um, but you know, it's, it's always fun. And of course this one, this, uh, it also works with the CRC, right? If we ground our data line for a minute, it'll, uh, oh, I must have grounded it during something. Let's wait for the entered frame and then we ground our data line. And the CRC comes, bad data. So yeah, you know it works. It's dope. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. Fan fan fantastic. Uh, haven't added any addressing yet. Um, I just have the one receiver that receives everything, and then the two transmitters. But that's that's the next thing. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get to it today, but you know it fucking works, dog. It's dope.